Uh, today's hearing is special since we've brought together such a diverse array of speakers, everyone from high school biotech teachers to college professors to biotech professionals who are on the cutting edge of innovation. And I, I don't want to take too much time because we have a full program and it's so exciting to, to listen to everything that we've got in the, that packed agenda, but I did want to take make a quick overview of the Assembly Select Committee on Biotechnology and what we've been working on over this last year. The goal of this committee is really to inform legislators and the public about California's biotechnology industry and the significance and the importance of that industry to our economy. This is the fifth informational hearing we've had over the last nine months. Our first hearing was in Sacramento where we provided members with an overview of the priority issues facing the life sciences industry. The second hearing was in South San Francisco, focused on how California can maintain and expand its role as the world's leader in life sciences and at a time when other states and nations are competing for that status. The third hearing was in San Diego, where we explored the partnerships between industry and academic institutions from junior high lab and science immersion programs to higher education funding. The fourth hearing was in Irvine. It was focused on the medical device industry and the important presence of that industry in California. In addition to informing the committee, uh, in, in addition to in the information hearings, the committee also worked to improve the way state government interacts with the biotechnology industry. Earlier this month, uh, I introduced legislation along with my fellow committee members to create the Director of California Biotechnology Retention and Recruitment within the Governor's Office. The goal of this proposal is to increase collaboration between state government, academic institutions, and the private sector so we can help foster the continued growth of the biomedical industry here in California. Why is this proposal and today's hearing why this proposal and today's hearing are so important is because the competition for our homegrown biotechnology industry is unprecedented. Forty five states and twenty seven countries now forty five states and there are only fifty states, so we know almost everyone is out to get this industry and take it away from us. Twenty seven and twenty seven countries are organizing efforts to attract biotechnology companies. The California Healthcare Institute, Barbara quoted some of the statistics from them, that they released in their 2010 biomedical industry report, this that came out this month, showed that two-thirds, two-thirds of executives at California's largest biomedical companies expect to move more manufacturing out of state within the next two years. And 58% said they anticipating doing research and development outside of California. So it's going to take all of our collective efforts to change this dynamic. We've got a lot to cover, so uh, let's get started with the program. Thanks to all of our speakers for participating today. Really appreciate you giving this time and energy to this uh, exciting uh, industry.